Hi, it's Jane Blundell, and today what I'm going to talk to you about is the Kakamori inks. I did a video previously about the Kakamori nib, which I just adore. Well, this is the stainless steel version with the aluminium handle here. And the one I've set up for travel using a Tachikawa holder with a lid that I take with me when I'm sketching. The ink sampler set one contains five inks. Now these are pigmented inks and I wanted to explore them and just see how they behave. Because I'll often use inks for drawing rather than just writing. Even if I'm writing, I do tend to prefer to use inks that are waterproof, just because accidents happen. So I'll go through these one at a time. It's a really bright red. These little tiny sample bottles are made of possibly glass. It's a little hard to tell whether it's glass or heavy plastic. They're very, very cute, very tiny, as you can see in my hand. The full size bottles are a beautiful shape, a little bit like a drop. So I'll wet the brush, dry it off, and then dip it in. So this is number two, and it's a, a quinacridone gold color. Beautiful golden, slightly neutralized or slightly dirty or slightly earth tone, however you like to describe that. And I tend to use synthetic brushes when I'm painting out inks, just because they can be a bit harsh. With these nibs, if you increase the angle, you'll get a thicker line. So I'm showing these inks full strength, not diluted at all. This is very much a phthalo blue, the familiar colour for watercolour. You can see how black inks can be made just using a mixture of all the colours. This is the colour that you'll often see called Hooker's Green in paints. Really rich mid green.
So that's set one. And this is set two. It's a much deeper blue compared to this one. What I call a neutralized blue, or a slightly gray blue. Then a darker one, more of a teal. It's a rich brown, uh, sepia sort of colour. It's got a hint of reddish brown. not surprisingly, a rich black. Inside the little box, there's a bit more information on each one. And the descriptions of these colours are really lovely. So number one, Po, is described as a colour tucked away in our hearts. Po is the way we blush when falling in love, the warmth of a face admired from afar. Torori, now my pronunciation is not necessarily correct, a perfect omelette reveals its deliciously soft centre. Tarori is the colour of anticipation, describing the rich consistency, overflow with flavour. Tototo is the gentle melody of a special rosé poured in quiet company, a colour to elevate everyday life or celebrate a special occasion. Karari number four. Fresh like an endlessly clear sky, Karari describes a bright cloudless day. With this blue in hand, a break in the clouds is never far away. Karan, Kuan, depicts the dance of a vine's curling tendrils, a green that captures both vitality and a sense of calm. And it suggests that you shake well before use and store in a cool, dry place. You use the pen regularly to prevent the nib from drying out if you're using a fountain pen.
So number six, Topuri. Look closely and might see the stars in a night sky. Topuri describes the comforting darkness that arrives after nightfall, a gentle colour that inspires reflection. Soyo is like a breath of fresh air, a colour that evokes the feeling of a pleasant breeze. And Zaban, I love that sound, is the sound of the deep blue ocean. Listen for the lapping waves as the ink flows across the paper, awakening, awakening precious memories. Mukuru, Mukuri describes a state of awakening like a bear emerging from hibernation to the warm red earth. The colour signals the arrival of a new season. And Koton, the silence of the night is punctured by Koton, the sound of an ink bottle being placed on a desk, a colour for quiet contemplation. Now, the important test is whether these are waterproof. So I'll just work through them one at a time and blend over the top. So yes, there's some movement in that one. is a soft brush it's not a firm brush So these are certainly not completely waterproof. They're not as soluble as some inks either. They're sort of an in-between. very little movement in that one. There's not a lot of movement in that one either. But you can see that there's some, there's some solubility. So you'd have to be well aware of that if you're going to use them for drawing.